Hello, I'm Wesley Gallery, and today I will be drawing Dust from the X-Men. So the first time I was introduced to this character, I think it was in uh, New X-Men, and I just love the powers. Uh, I tend to like characters that have like these unique powers, and like her ability to basically turn into sand and controlled sand was kind of weird, but kind of you know interesting in that way. So lately I've been drawing a lot more than I usually do, which is kind of a good thing. Uh, now I've actually been actually working on like starting off with small thumbnails first. Uh, and I feel like that's helping me a, a lot. Uh, so you can see in the background, like originally I started off with like a loose, very loose thumbnail. And then I built it up from there. So yeah, uh, got to be honest, I'm not a professional at drawing folds, but I'm really happy at, you know, how some of these folds turn out because drawing black fabric that's draped over an entire human body, yeah, that's, that's difficult to do because uh, you have a whole bunch of shadows and the shadows are sort of kind of covered up by like the color of the fabric. So making uh, like making some of these things like like playing out some of the like the shapes and like how they're going to look or the shading is was was difficult but uh, I feel like I pulled it off real nicely. Uh, so I think I'm should be starting on like actually doing the line art right now uh, and it's funny that most of the wrinkles and folds that I've drawn in this stage in the end they're all gonna be like covered up some of like I think half of these things I end up erasing just covering up and using like just a pure black spot just to like, cover it up because I'm like it wasn't really needed at that point, uh, but this is good though, because like drawing it like this makes me understand like how how the fabric is actually flowing, and I wouldn't have been able to understand that if I hadn't drawn it first. So, yeah, that's good. And I think somewhere along the line, the the belt that I think I was drawing, like. I feel like I could have improved some of the wrinkles there because honestly they don't really tell how the fabric is like wrapping around uh the figure that well the kind of more generic like like wrinkle folds and also the little x that's on her belt like that would create like more like folds that like indicate that like hey um there's this like medallion that's hanging off of you yeah now looking back i probably should have done a better job at like like improving the information on like the belt fold so here's where i kind of messed up a bit when i was trying to plan out the effects i think i was drawing on the same layer as the line art in this so yeah, I had to go back over and erase everything. I, yeah, I was really pissed off like at this point because I can I re kind of really like the original like layout for the sand effects, and then you know how like once you draw something at one time it's like perfect and you're like yeah yeah this is it. And then when you find out that you have to go back and you know, oops you messed up you gotta go back over and do it again. You're like you know. It's just nothing replaces the first like thing that you did because you know you already did it it was perfect so yeah going back over and redoing it was a huge bummer for me uh, but yeah you know eh, there's nothing you can do about it you know we all bounce back eventually uh, so yeah now I think I'm working on the line art for the sand effects and yeah, I think I with this I've had an issue like with the 
thickness of the line weight like you know what to do there I, th I think I just put it off and just moved on to the uh, spots of black uh, and shading in her uh, wardrobe yeah I think here is where like sort of kind of uh, erase most of the line work that I you know worked so hard to do <laughs> yeah so yeah, most of the line artwork is just going to be covered up here. Uh, yeah, uh, doing the uh, spots of black around her chest area was a little, little uh, confusing and difficult for me because there's going to be that, you know, huge like shadow underneath like the breast area but you know you still want to show like that yeah it's in shadow but like there's like wrinkles and folds going on still so even though i probably think i should have like darkened it up a little bit more yeah i'm pretty much ha happy with that and i can always come back later and fix it with uh hatching uh by using the brush that I made earlier on. Uh, and I think now I'm working on the uh, sand effects, uh, at least trying to figure out what to do about like the line weight with the sand. Uh, I think I'll end it on like, trying to make the darker lines match where the light source is supposed to be coming from. Like everything on the, I think, left side is supposed to be in shadow, right supposed to be not so those are my darker lines for the sand effect now I think I'm moving on to yeah this is I think where I think I was trying to fix the issue I had with the uh, shadows uh, on the figure so yeah I made this uh, hatching brush uh, and I think it's coming in handy a lot. Uh, I actually hate doing my own like actual hatching by hand. So this brush is like just basically making it like, a little bit easier for me to so I kind of get a nice gradation with uh, my uh, black and white shapes or figures. So yeah, now looking at it, I realized there was a bit that I forgot to record. Uh, I did go back later and fix the sand effect. Uh, I thought it was like the, looked a little too much like wind. So I added some textures and that and just made it look a little bit more grainier. So yeah, that's all for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. You know the whole standard YouTube thing. Uh, and see you next time.